Hi, Binley. Kit. Kit. Psst, psst. Hi. Thank you for all your help here. Well, nice junk finally got his wish, and we are going to scrap this Panasonic phone. The uh, it, it had a bunch of uh, like uh, other handsets. I'm going to open one of those up after, but the um, like no, I shouldn't say handset, but like separate cordless phones. I don't know where it came from. I guess uh, probably an office or something, because like the. The other phones were all, there was probably five other phones, and they all had their own bases and, and stuff, but who knows? Anyhow, nobody uses these anymore. I am going to open one of the, uh, the, the separate phones up at the end just to see what's in there. Then I know whether it's worth opening the rest of them up. But So let's skip ahead here. I will show you the uh, the one cool thing that, uh, that I found in, in all of these phones. Um, in the, uh, I guess it's the mic, well, and in, in the speaker too, there are these small little neodymium magnets. Well, at least I think they're neodymium magnets. So I, I did save uh, all of the ones I could get out of there. I think I got like, I don't know, four or something like that, maybe five. But uh, I am going to open up the rest of those phones just to get the, those out. And then I'll just throw the boards in, uh, in with my uh, e-waste stuff that goes out. This, I, it's a microphone, but it's got like two little tiny gold pins that I don't think I'd even be able to, to get off. So the, uh, that's uh, the speaker from the handset there. I don't think I opened that up. Maybe I do. Let's, let's see. I'm talking about it. I don't remember exactly what I'm saying. I do know that I'll clip those wires. Just let me... There we go. There's my clippers. So, yeah, I just clip those wires because, you know, why wouldn't you? Look at that free wire. <laughs> and that little free plug, which I do pull the uh, gold pins out of and put them in Irish's little... Uh, pill bottle <laughs> I, I, I got thinking i better not send the pill bottle uh full of little gold uh nuggets over to to ireland just in case the customs does wonder who river bird is and I, I can't remember what these pills were but i think they were a sedative and a uh, painkiller so i don't i'll just i'll just remove the labels maybe Anyways, this, I don't even know why, like, I'm spending so long on this handset, <laughs> pulling these little gold pins out. Let's skip ahead. Just trying something different here. And don't worry, he doesn't bite, uh, usually. Now we're going to try and focus in on this tiny, tiny little board. Really, I can't imagine it's worth anything, but that's what it is there. I mean, it's grams. Then the other uh, handset board that takes up like the the whole handset. It's um, I don't know. I'm still looking for the gold that Nice Junk was talking about. He's had me very excited about this. I was just dreaming of the the wealth, but no. Maybe when I get into the to the bigger section. This is just like uh, stupid. Why? <laughs> I'm not even uh, in the uh, frame. Oh, I was getting more magnets. Oh, right. That's why I'm sorry. I, I shouldn't have called myself stupid. I, I'm actually very, very smart for getting these uh, magnets out of there. I've got to be saving myself at, at least 15 cents. And then I don't even know what I'm going to do with the magnets. And then, like this, this is a scrap it all uh, um, trick here where you uh, scrap, <laughs> scrap it all. You pick those tiny little bits of copper out of there. Yep, that's right. I'm learning, buddy. 
<laughs> yeah, I I do like. I mean, I look at the that little bit of copper that came from those tiny speakers, and I think that the you know, like if you were um, going pound for pound, that's uh, way better uh, return than when you do the big speakers and get the couple grams of copper out of them. And you get better magnets in these. So, yeah, like, <laughs> I can't believe I didn't fast forward through this. Maybe, maybe I will. As you can probably tell, I'm quite fixated on these tiny magnets. I, uh, I almost feel like a member of the Insane Clown Posse. <laughs> like, any, anyways, yeah, look, two different sizes of tiny magnets. And then this is where I just try and find some value in the handset and I give up. Here, now here is the main event. <laughs> this is the, uh, this is where all the gold is, according to my friend, Dan. I'm just going to fast forward through this too, because it's crappy. Oh man. So yeah, the, uh. Tons and tons of screws. And as we all know, like anybody who's ever scrapped anything, we know that there's always one screw. And before I find that one screw, I'm going to show you how I can smack the, uh, watch, smack the tripod. Wait, wait for it. Boom. Yeah. Yeah. And then, as you can see, yes, I am scrapping barefoot in my robe. <laughs> this is what depression looks like, friends. The, um, <laughs> I just wanted to do something. But, <laughs> anyhow, yeah, we got lots of plastic in there, and I was just showing the one screw, but you couldn't see it, so I'm going to point it out again. There's the hole that the screw was in. I just couldn't see because it was in there pretty deep. Then, oh wait, maybe I'm not showing it to you. Wait, I must. Like, I must show it to you because obviously I would have known that I missed it before. Yeah, oh yeah, right here, look. So that's where it broke off. That was <laughs> That was why I was struggling so hard to get that phone open. One screw. One screw and two times to show you where that screw was it when you don't even really care now this is just uh where i uh, I've, I've already looked at this board just kind of uh from the back and i've thought to myself i really can't picture a whole lot of uh gold maybe the pins and the little plugs that's about it i can't like i don't know the rest of this i don't even know why i'm not fast forwarding through this I've already gone through and kind of done all of the uh, the editing um, for the video, and this should never have stayed. Like I'm, I'm wasting your time and I'm wasting my time trying to think of something to say during these awkward silences. What I can say is, nice junk. I do not trust your judgment. You, uh, you do not know what gold looks like. I think. But you're still my friend. You know, I'm still going to call you crying about e-waste Mike being mean to us. Here we, yeah, here we go. The reason e-waste Mike is probably mean to me is because he watches stuff like this and he <laughs> can't understand how <laughs> I would waste a half an hour <laughs> taking this thing apart. But it had to be taken apart so that everybody can see. Like, that's, this is the way I look at this. Take it apart, you show people, and then they decide they're going to go look it up and, you know, see whether it's worth it for them to take it apart. And uh, instead of just taking it apart, they could waste, you know, I don't know what it's, this video is going to be, 17 minutes so far. So you could waste 17 minutes watching me tell you <laughs> that it's not worth taking apart. But, I mean, you know, for some people it is. Scrap it all would take this apart and just relish in the fact that he he got some free scrap. The uh he probably would 
even figure out something to do with this crappy circuit board. Like, that is horrible. It's copper. Like, nothing wrong with copper, but I don't know if it's worth tearing a circuit board apart to get a thin layer of it. This is kind of a neat little speaker, though. Get, uh, you're going you're gonna to find this hard to believe, but I'm doing this to get the magnet out. Because, uh, I don't know if I mentioned it, but there's little magnets in the speakers. <laughs> Look at that. What's that, like, the fourth time I've showed you a small magnet? <laughs> I, need, I need a life. <laughs> and then, there's the final board. And as you uh, can probably see, not not great. <laughs> we uh, we do not trust nice junk's judgment on what to scrap, so we should have done the garage door opener. Although Joseph uh, already told me that there's nothing in there, so I uh, I guess I should just leave the house and maybe go out to the shop and get some real stuff to scrap. But anyway, that, this is what you get. I don't know how there's still like five or six more minutes left of this. Like, I'm, maybe I'm supposed to sing? I don't know. This is where I show with my uh, facial expression uh, my disdain for Nice Junk and his silly recommendation. Now, this is where I'm going to scrap the... Just the cordless phone, one of the cordless phones that went along with it. I I don't know uh, why I have five more minutes left of this, though, because uh, it really shouldn't be. Well, would you take a look at that? Because I sped this uh, really useless part of the video up, I was able to get this video to under 15 minutes. Well, you know, that's pretty good, I think. 15 minutes to uh, get 80 cents worth of scrap and, you know, some priceless magnets, <laughs> which there's also some priceless magnets in this unit too. I'm sure I'm going to pick them out and show them to you. <laughs> you know, I, uh, yeah, I, I'm, not, I'm probably not going to do the rest of the phones. If I do, it will just be for the magnets. I don't, think that these boards I, I don't know I, I'll look into it but I'm gonna try and do a board sword order so I I don't think that these boards are worth um, shipping to board sort uh, nice junk just did a series on that I'm not saying he's totally useless but just in telling me what <laughs> what to scrap but he just did a series on uh, shipping to board sort for Canada so um, I'll, I'll throw his, uh, I'll throw a link to that, um, playlist in my, uh, description here. If anybody in Canada is looking to sell some e-waste to the States, you have to do it, uh, I don't know, you have to look. He, he tells you how much you can send and, and everything. So the, uh, yeah, we, we still are just kind of looking around at this thing and, and just wondering if that's gold. It kind of looks like copper, but it might be gold. That one little tiny piece up there in the corner. I don't know. I I guess I should start looking into e-waste more because I, I know that's the only way that I can make e-waste Mike like me. The uh, He seems to only like people who are interested in e-waste. And his neighbor, Chris. He really likes him too. But I think that's it. <laughs> <laughs> the rest is just e-waste. <laughs> Anyhow, this is going on too long. I got about 30 seconds left to show you the crappy bits of plastic and other useless materials that I've got out of this. There's the screen. You know, it's garbage. And I'm going to uh, not do uh, an abrupt ending here. Oh, look at the cats. That's I'm Catman. Anyhow, abrupt ending averted. Goodbye, everybody.